The land of Israel is truly a friend of America in so many ways. It's not just military and intelligence. It's not just the technology that we enjoy. If you enjoy car navigation back home, thank Israel for that. If you enjoy having a cell phone, thank Israel for that. If you've had a family member that has had robotic surgery or that swallowed the little pill that went down into their intestines and let the doctor see inside of them, thank Israel for that. Those are just some of their creations and inventions. Some of them are a little more practical and maybe, maybe more pleasant, like cherry tomatoes and seedless watermelon, for example. Israel gives us as much as we give them, and a lot of Americans never fully understand that. They give us drip irrigation, which has turned the desert into a blooming, amazing land of forest and groves and farms. When I first started coming to Israel in 1973, there were places in this country that were nothing but barren, rock, sand, nothing that was green. And those very places I come back to now, I've seen the fulfillment of biblical prophecy because I've seen the desert bloom and I've seen the dry bones live and the flesh come upon those dry bones. One of my favorite stories is an Israeli farmer bought a little piece of land down in the Negev and uh, he worked it, worked it hard. And it was nothing. I mean, it was nothing. It was dirt. It was rock. And after about five years of really hard work, he finally got it where there was vegetables growing. There were fruits growing and it was beautiful and immaculate. And his rabbi one day went down to see him and the rabbi said, Oh, my son, what you and God have done with this land. And the farmer wiped the sweat from his brow and said, yeah, Rabbi, well, you should have seen it when God had it all by himself. 